I'm looking at Isaiah Hartenstein as a reserve, giving you activity off the bench. Stephen A. Smith is right. Isaiah Hartenstein has been absolutely amazing for the Knicks this season. The only problem with his take? The German center has been a starter since the 20th of December. If you haven't seen much of his play, just like Stephen A., some say he's like a 7-foot Draymond. Others mention comparisons to Marc Gasol without the three-point shot. Hartenstein's stats make a case for a selection to the NBA's all-defensive team. His passing is surprising everyone each night. So let's look at how German is silently making Knicks a contender with elite skills on both sides of the court. Hart drives. Oh, and Hartenstein on the follow. Came right over Holmgren. First of all, it is crazy that the biggest name of NBA talking faces doesn't know the simple fact about Hartenstein. But at the same time, it's not like Isaiah is a super flashy player. Until early December, he was coming off the bench. And one of the main reasons for that throughout his young career was not being able to defend without fouling. Then Mitchell Robinson suffered an ankle injury, one that required surgery. Still, Tom Thibodeau decided to start Jericho Sims in his place, but German immediately outplayed him and surpassed him in playing time. He simply made more positive difference. Better pick and roll finisher, solid defense and some slick passing. Robinson, ankle surgery gonna happen, it's gonna be out. Eight weeks, Hartenstein inside, throws it down! Six games later, Hartenstein officially moved into the starting lineup and hasn't looked back ever since. Not even after Robinson has made a comeback after his injury. On top of that, the big man is playing the best basketball of his career at the right moment. He is on an expiring contract and the Knicks fans have been incredibly active on social media asking the front office to re-sign him this summer. Now, there have been a bunch of instances where a player delivers a career a year right before his contract expires, signs a new deal and then just disappears with his averages dropping significantly. I don't think that's the case with the center though, because his most common stats are not that impressive, while his impact metrics are the ones looking elite. I mean, what did you expect? There had to be reasons people call him 7 foot Draymond or Marc Gasol without a shot. Take a look at these interesting statistical facts. Todd Whitehead from Synergy posted a list of guys who defend the screeners in the pick and rolls and guess who stands at the top that's right hartenstein was at the top just a couple of weeks ago above three-time defensive player of the year rudy gobert above bam adebayo or even victor Wembanyama. and b blocked at the other end by hartenstein he threw it back like thursday and won at the other you might think that has a lot to do with New York's great defense overall as they have NBA's ninth best defense. And while I agree that definitely helps, let's not discredit the big guy here. New York's philosophy varies depending on the opponent, but they love sending ball handlers to their weak hands, with Hartenstein meeting them in a drop usually and sometimes higher at the level of the screen. His quickness and wingspan allows him to contest both mid-ranges from the ball handlers and pick and pop counters from their opponents. If Knicks feel the need of switching late in the shot clock, for example, he is agile enough to stay nearby top-level guards. Game hook for that three-pointer. That got you listening, huh? Then hear about this. According to DuncanFreeze.com in their estimated box plus minus, which is an all-in-one metric calculating a player's contribution, Isaiah is 15th among all NBA players, higher than Lillard, Butler, Davis, Edwards, KD, or Jamal Murray. I know this sounds crazy and I'm not saying he's better than those guys, but this proves his personal impact to New York's results. They are currently third in the East and Hartenstein's individual defensive impact is second highest in all league, just behind Jonathan Isaac from Orlando. There have been five individual games this season when a player grabs 20 rebounds and adds four blocks, and the German is responsible for two of them, both in a span of 10 days in January. He has a superb feel, great positioning, and high IQ defensively. Holding the next to one shot. Caleb denied by Hartenstein. And now you can be the judge on if he is close to that Draymond level already.
already. Since many teams have bigs that shoot threes nowadays, Hartenstein often finds himself outside the paint to start the possession. Here, he first points to Burks to watch the paint, but reacts immediately after seeing Williams rejecting the pick and touching the paint. German arrives just in time to contest this shot, forcing a miss and igniting the break. Similar stuff in the next clip. Portis is in the corner, Hartenstein is the low man on the weak side. Everything seems under control until Ananobi overplays Yanis, who cuts back door for a wide open dunk, but check Isaiah sprinting into the passing lane and then the hustle. How can you not love this guy if you are a New York fan? In the next possession, it's not even his rotation to make since he's on the strong side of the ball here. But Kobe White gets around McBride on the first step, Hartenstein reacts quicker than light speed and makes a stunning effort to block this shot. New York's team defense is hard to beat. We all know Tom Thibodeau is a great defensive coach. Another example here, White again beats his man at the point of attack, Hart comes to help, Brunson is there to X out on a weak side while Hartenstein and Hart both react, preventing Caruso from a three-point shot. Multiple efforts force the guard to drive and then there is OG Ananobi doing his part at the rim. Beautiful. As you can see, Hartenstein is such a mobile center with excellent positioning skills, even when he's not on the ball. Another reason for his personal and team success on defense is extremely active hands. Watch him prevent backdoor by simply having his hands up all the time and following a Linux eyes. There is a pass right here to Trent Jr. but he stops it, Kelly has to play ISO and misses after a stagnant offense. To support the eye test of turnover generation on and off the ball, here are two more stats in Hartenstein's favor. Among centers, he is in the top 5 in both passing lane defense and pickpocket rating according to B-Ball Index. Oh yeah, they were something. Hartenstein ducks it! Okay, at this point, I might have convinced you Isaiah is super solid. Draymond, however, is not only that, he is a defensive and offensive genius. So I present to you some clips proving Hartenstein is using his IQ to his advantage as well. In the post against Sabonis, everybody in the NBA knows the Lithuanian is going to his left. Okay, here, despite Isaiah obviously pushing Domantas to go right, he still manages to go to his strong hand, but misses it. The next clip is a much better example. Even with Sabonis catching it in the middle, so the German is completely alone on an island, Hartenstein opens up right hand completely knowing that's his weak hand. Sabonis misses and the Knicks clinch the W. Finally, it is time to talk about his offensive game. And again, that's where comparison with Draymond and Marc Gasol pops up. Yes, he is mainly living off pick and rolls with Brunson and offensive rebounds. Hartenstein is at 65% shooting from the field as he has been tremendous finishing what other guys create for him. Center's floater game has has been just spectacular. He's draining one after another, offering a finish not exactly from under the rim. At the same time, he is a super low usage player, but there is an underrated part in his game too. And again, that's where comparison with Draymond and Marc Gasol pops up. With absolutely every team in the league looking for passing bigs who can operate as offensive hubs, Hartenstein has shown flashes of slick dimes. Center is insanely good passing it into the open space, the kind of assist we see in football. Here, in transition, he finds himself in that Sabonis or Jokic role, and watch how early he realizes there is a passing lane here, that's just insane. His teammate is not even looking at him as it leaves Hartenstein's hands, and it goes through just perfectly for Grimes to finish. As I said, he's not getting many touches in New York's offense, but when he does, I mean, this is top tier stuff on this give and go. If New York re-signs him, Thibodeau should think about incorporating Isaiah in the offense more, where his usage is at only around 11% right now. He can create a couple of easy buckets per game to others with his IQ and passing. Sacramento denies Brunson here, Hartenstein lifts up to execute the blind pick action for Brunson who lays it in plus the foul. Tuesday, cutting inside. Brunson. The contact got it to drop in a foul. Yes, he's not a threat from outside, and that limits his passing angles at times. But if given too much room, he can keep the ball and attack the rim. And I just hope that after watching this video, you get a better idea of why Knicks fans tweet daily reminders to re sign Hartenstein. Would you want him on your team and for how much money? Let's discuss it in the comment section down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and also check out my latest video on NBA secretly changing rules in the middle of a season and why it's great. See you next week.